Scotty, you, you've got to talk to me. I can't. Now, come on, you started to say something. You said you thought Heather what? All right, well, if you know, why don't you just say it? Because I want to hear it from you. Well, you're not going to hear it from me. Because I don't think so. If she was trying to set me up, she wouldn't have gone to the newspaper. She would have gone to the police. Oh, maybe, Scotty, maybe. Look, you represent me, not her. Oh, Heather is very much a part of this case. Only if you drag her into it. Now, let's not talk about her. Let's talk about the note. What are we going to do about that? Well, until the police get it, there's nothing we can do about that. Yeah, well, they're going to get it very soon. Because I'm sure Scorpio will hit up his ex, Flame Templeton, and he'll have it by tonight. And that worries you? You're the one that said it incriminates me. Well, no more than the impression from the police lab. They both say the same thing. Call the bank regarding Scotty's forgery. Whether you have the original or the, or the one from the police lab, what difference does it make? So now we're back to explaining the note. No, no, you've already done that, Scotty. You told me that you had made up with Susan before the murder. That she'd written that note to herself to remind her to call the bank in the morning to clear you. Clear me? Yeah. I wasn't thinking. Scotty, something is worrying you. I'm in jail. Isn't that worry enough? No, it's the person who had the note that's worrying you. The person who was protecting you. And now they're not. Now we're back to Heather again. That's huh? right, Heather again. What is it with you? Why do you always believe her? What's between the two of you? Can't bring yourself to say it, can you? All right, you're the one with all the answers, Dave. Why don't you say it? All right, I will. You think that Heather did it. You thought so all along, and that quarter main b blackmail story, though it may be true, has nothing to do with Susan's murder. I didn't say that. You don't have to, Scotty. You told me that story just to throw me off the track. You think Heather killed her. You may even know that she did. Would you knock it off? You got the note figured out, too, haven't you? You know that she took that note so that she could turn it in as proof against you. That's not true. No, isn't it? Look, it's just a lot of conjecture here, all right? You're running around here pretending like you're in the courtroom. Well, I'm tired of being up on the witness stand. Now, you, you go talk to the court man, and there's where you'll get some answers. I already have, Scotty, and I know they're guilty of everything except murder. Come on now, Scotty, it's Heather. It's been Heather all along. She's the one who's trying to frame you, and I doubt very much that she's finished. You're wrong! Well, for your sake, I hope that's true, because I think I know what's going to happen next here. She's going to show up as the prosecution's star witness. All right, look, I'm warning you she's about this, all right? She's going to testify against you, No, this you, is Scotty. not going to happen. She's going to tell her she's sorry No, no, it. this... Will you understand? Now face it, Scotty. That woman has the power to send you to prison for the rest of your life. I just ran a marathon. Two hours and 18 minutes. It's a long time in OR. Mm-hmm. Especially on a 45-minute procedure. Yeah. You got anything for me? Uh, no, not a thing. Uh, excuse me, Jesse. Look, I'm expecting Jackie Templeton plus two officers to arrive here any minute. If I'm not around, could you tell them to wait in the lounge for me, please? Sure. Thank you. Hi. Jackie Templeton and police escort. Isn't your wife upstairs in a hospital bed? Sleeping. Giving you the perfect excuse to go back to work. The world doesn't stop, Bobby. Apparently yours doesn't. Now listen, I don't need this right now. Fine. Why don't you go take care of your business? We'll let you know how it turns out. Now, what is bothering you? Robert, I just want to know what happened. One minute Holly is absolutely fine, the next minute she's in here. She picked up something that was too heavy for her. You sure you didn't have her working out in your jungle gym? Or chasing after your bad guys. Robert, don't you understand that that woman is carrying a child? I'm quite aware of it. 
since it's not your kid, you could care less. You believe that? You're not exactly the picture of the perfect parent. I'll see you, Robert. Don't you walk away from me. Now, you seem to forget the reasons that I married her in the first place. One, to keep her in this country. Two, to give her child, your brother's child, a chance in this world. Now, I've been up all night. I'm going to be up all day and probably all night tonight. I don't need this from you, Bobby. Not now. Not ever. Excuse me. Robert, I... Got to hand it to you, kid. You got more nerve than I ever gave you credit for. Thank you, Commissioner. Get over here. I want to talk to you. Excuse me, do you think this is necessary? I sure as hell do. How dare you print that note? What are you, crazy or just partially retarded? This is a criminal investigation. That is a piece of crucial evidence. You withheld it. Now, sweet cakes, whether you realize it or not, I can have you arrested for that. You're in big trouble. I probably will have you arrested. What's that? It's your evidence, Commissioner. Where did you get it? <clears throat> Found it on my living room floor. And I'm supposed to believe that. Well, no one is forcing you. How did it get there? Obviously, someone dropped it. Any ideas? You're the commissioner. You figure it out. Heather. What do you know? That was my assumption exactly. Maybe there's room for me on the force. Maybe when you grow up. Why would you assume that Heather dropped this? Because she's been worried, she's been looking for something, and she's been asking me a lot of questions. That doesn't answer the question. Why would she have it in the first place? I didn't think you'd be able to figure it out. See, it has to do with something you know very little about. Love. Because that's exactly what Heather is. Scotty's lover. writing in this. So does she. Yeah. Can we talk? Sure, what is it? Outside? Of course. Do you want to smell if change? Sure, I mean, what is it? Ruby, I feel like I'm going crazy. You look okay. I just jumped all over Robert. Why? I don't know why. I, I feel like i got to blame him. You mean because of Holly? Louis, I know it's not his fault, but he is her husband, and all he's doing is running around playing policeman. Hey, wait a minute. He's not playing anything. He has a very important job with a lot of responsibility. He's got a responsibility to Holly. Don't you think that he knows that? Well, then why isn't he here? For your information, he was here all last night. Now, what's happened to Holly is not his fault. I know that. You know what your problem is? You're jealous, like me. Holly belonged to Lou. Well, that's over. And what Robert did by marrying her was so unselfish. We owe him everything as much as we owe Holly. I guess. You know. I think maybe you'd better talk to him. When I can. Still Luke, isn't it? You can't believe he's not really coming back. How did you know that? Because I feel the same way. Ruby, I loved him, but I am so angry at him for dying and leaving us. I feel like I just want to yell at him for, for, for getting himself killed. So you're yelling at Robert. You're right. I think I owe him an apology. I think so, but wait a little. He's got so much pressure. I know. On top of all this, he's got the Susan Baldwin murder, too. Anything new? You haven't read the papers? No, not today. They found a note that incriminates Scotty. I don't know all the details, but they're making it sound like Scotty's on his last legs.